Welcome back to the garage. Today I'm going to show you how a megometer works. Um, what a megometer is, or a uh, megamometer, or a megger people call it, is, or an insulation tester. It tests the insulation or the um, windings in an electric motor, it tests the insulation and wiring. Uh, for example, in your house, if you have uh, um, well, everybody has wiring in their house, but if you have a short in the wiring, you can use a megometer to uh, help you find the short to narrow it down to which line uh, has a short in it, uh, and then you can go further hunting from there. Uh, it can also test an electric motor to see if it's worth um, using or not. Uh, this electric motor here is from a um, treadmill and I believe it's, uh, it's something like a 100 volt motor, it's a strange thing. Um, you have to have a special transformer to run it, uh, but we want to see if it's going to work. So we've got it hooked up to this meter here. And so what this meter, this particular one has a crank on the side that when you crank it, it creates voltage. So from either 500, 1000 or 2500 volts. Okay. And it sends that through the line looping through and it measures the resistance of the line. So I'll show you how that works. And that helps to see if, if there's a short. If there's a short, uh, let's say, start off with a short, for example. Um, I don't really want to hold that. <laughs> Not sure what that does, but okay. So let's pin these two together and create a short. And zoom this thing in here. So if we have a short, we should be at, oops, should go right to zero. See, when, you see that? Yeah, okay, good. So I'm cranking that, creating voltage, and it goes right to zero. So we've got a dead short that tells us, okay, there's something wrong. Now, if I plug the, if I hook this up to the motor onto the ground, okay, so we have it grounded on the motor here. So, and we have it connected to one of the um, wires that uh, power the motor up. And the, that goes through the coil, through the windings, and if there's a short from the winding to the body, this will measure that and tell us, oh, okay, something's wrong. So right now, we'll start off at the bottom of the scale here. So we'll be at uh, scale one. You've got the scale one goes from zero to 50 mega ohms. And then scale two, when you click this dial over, goes to from 50, yeah, from 50 mega ohms to uh, 10,000 mega ohms, I believe that is. Okay, so I'll we'll start here with 500 volts and see what happens. So we'll crank the meter there and it goes up and comes back again. That means we're going off the scale. So let's go to the second scale and crank it up. And you see it's gone over a thousand, thousand mega ohms. So, okay, we don't, that, that's a good reading uh, for this motor. It tells us that the windings are good in there because there's that resistance in there. Uh, these two blue ones I don't think worked. Was this one? Yeah, this one's another winding, I believe. Or part of it. So we should be able to measure that out. Oops. Okay. So let's crank this one up. And again, we got a good reading on that side. And that's on, a, on this different wire here. So we, first we had the red wire, then we had the gray wire, and that's that particular motor. So we know, okay, that motor is in good condition. So if you didn't have anything to power it up with, and uh, you wanted to buy it and make sure it's in semi-good condition, they, you know, uh, something to start with, then you can use this megometer to try that out. The next thing I have here is this hot tub motor that originally was supposed to be a video about repairing my hot tub and that all escalated to replacing the motor and the pump. So this is what I tested on the motor because it sparked up. So I went and I said okay let's borrow the megameter and find out whether this pump is still any good or this motor is still any good. So we can hook it up to, to this power lead right here Okay, and we take the megameter, 
and I know it's got, I think it, well, I'll try it at 500. I'm not sure if I did that before. Okay, hopefully everything's hooked up and stays. You crank it up there for a scale. We're way up there over a thousand mega ohms. So, okay, we've got a good coil there. And this is on the high speed side. It's a two speed, it's a two speed pump motor. Uh, you can see right here, you got the first, uh, you got the main, uh, what does that say? High, high speed and the low speed. So now let's go check the low speed side of the motor. And it's a different winding, so it may give us a different reading. Should give us a different reading if I can get this thing to hold on its own in there. Okay. Come on. Okay, it's still touching there. So let's go back to the megameter. And let's try that side out, the low side out, the low speed side out. And again, no short there. It's going up over a thousand uh, thousand ohms at 500 volts, so we're doing good. And we can also check the common side out here. We can get it to stay in the eye, everything's falling. And put this one to ground. That's on the common. Alright. There we go. So there's my readings there. So that motor's still good. One other thing I'd like to say um, is about this motor here. I did have it apart when I went to went to run the hot tub after repairing the leak in the hot tub, uh, which was the original thing that I wanted to do was repair the leak. I got that all repaired, hooked up the motor, and it shot out flames out the back here. Something got in there and caused it to arc and uh, sh shoot sparks, flames, and make big banging noises. Um, I knew, okay, I'm going to have to buy a new um, uh, motor and pump for the hot tub anyways. It's, it's pretty old. But out of curiosity, I took it all apart and uh, cleaned up some of the windings and found what arced, removed that, and recoated the wires again with uh, uh, a varnish and did a couple of layers of that and it, it seemed to work and I tested out with the uh, megometer to see if there was any more shorts in it and it seemed to work pretty good. Uh, so this one is no longer going to be on the hot tub, but I can use it on something that I'm not too concerned about. Uh, whereas the hot tub runs all winter, and if this fails and the hot tub freezes up, I'm out a lot of money. Okay, so just wanted to let you know that part. Alright, so thanks for watching, and that's the Megometer in short. Um, I thought it was pretty cool, and I thought I'd share that with you. Okay, thanks. Take care. Bye-bye.